Hi, uh, this is Coach Tony Morgan of the Masterful Engineer program, and today's bottle what we're looking at is a British Gas RD532i. Being called out to this boiler, um, customers said the hot water is intermittent, so we're going to check out and find out what the problem is. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to take the casing off. As you can see, it's quite a big unit. This is by a Worcester boiler, badged up for British Gas. Okay, so we're inside the boiler, and we're just going to have a quick look round it and check its operation. So as I said, this particular unit, it's a Worcester Bosch badged up for British Gas, so it's equivalent of a Worcester 30 HE Plus. Okay, in hot water mode, how this bottle works, at the back you can see that valve there on the right, that's the cold water inlet, so it goes up, and at the back you can see something red there, We'll see if you can zoom in a bit closer. So that's a bit better. So that's like a water valve. So what happens when you run the hot water, I'm going to turn it on now, and you'll see a switch move. So that's the hot water flow switch. So what the hot water's on, that makes that switch, or releases it, and activates the hot water. And you hit it click off. So that's the first thing that happens in the hot water mode. From there, you've got the hot water sensor. So if that's okay, then you'll get the fan run. So you the pump will run first. That'll run first. Then the pump works and the fan starts. At the same time, you're going to get ignition through the spark electrodes there, then to on the right. The flame will come on, the flame sensor electrode will detect the flame, carry on the combustion, the burner's on, and then it's all fired up. At the same time, the diverter valve, which is here, and that's a motor, that will activate, divert the primary water, which will go over to the plate heat exchanger here. The cold water goes inside here, turns into hot water and goes out to the tap, which is this pipe here, going to the taps. So that's the sequence of events in the hot water mode of hot water operation. For the heat inside, this is your programmer, so that's going to be calling for heat. Thermostat on here is going to be calling for heat. If you've got an external control, that will be turned up. So once all that's all activated, then the boiler will fire up in the same way I said before for hot water. The only difference is that the diverter valve will be in the heating mode, then it will go around the radiators by the flow return underneath the boiler. You've got a few little bits up here. This is here, and that's the primary sensor. That one there is the overheat thermostat. So then that will be okay, and then you're gonna get the burn to fire up. At the back there, Difficult to see, you can see it there, that is the flu sensor. So if the flue gases are too high for any reason, like a blockage, that will shut the burner down. And then you'll get the error code shown on the display here. This you can see the expansion vessel and the automatic air vent on the top. So the expansion takes place through that pipe that goes to the back of the pump. 
This is for your spark. That's coming off the main PCB, which is behind here. And as I said before, that's a flame sensor, which that then goes back to the board to tell the board that the flame is on and keep the burner on and running safely. You've got like two condensed traps. This is one here in the grey. That fills up and then goes across that pipe there and goes to the second one. And then that fan discharge discharges outside to the drain. That's your pressure gauge. And I said that's a pump before. At the bottom down there you've got the pressure relief valve. And then you've got the main heat exchanger itself, the fan unit, and on top there is a burner what burns down. So that's really on this particular boiler. Oh, this is your adjustment behind there for your gas adjustment for doing your CO. And also, that's your gas valve as well. So that's basically it on this boiler. As I said, I'm the end of this video. So if you like what you've seen, you can subscribe to our channel or give us a like. And we'll see you in the next video. So thank you for watching.